Connor McDavid scored his 300th NHL goal last night, and of course, it was a beauty. The Kings are on the power play, they turn it over, and it lands right on McDavid's stick. He corrals it, absolutely undresses Victor Arvidsson at the blue line, skates faster than everyone to go one-on-one -on -one with Corpusalo, who he beats for number 300, doing so in just 563 games to make him the third fastest active player to reach 300 behind Steven Stamkos and Ovi. However, the real magical thing about McDavid's scoring is how he's clearly focused on it so much this season, and we've seen him jump from a career high of 44 goals to 61. It really, really makes me wonder what his numbers are going to look like next year, and for the rest of his career, really. Another interesting fact is that this season, we saw three Oilers, Connor McDavid, Evander Kane, and Leon Dreisaitl, hit that 300 goal mark, all during the same three-game win streak. Anyway, McDavid wasn't the only one who showed up for the game, which, by the way, had a definite playoff-like atmosphere as Stuart Skinner recorded the Oilers' first shutout of the season with a 43-save effort. And yeah, Oilers' goaltending is weird. It's their first shutout with six games remaining on the schedule, and it feels like we've been chirping Skinner a lot this year, but he played really well. He's also been getting results with 10 wins in his last 11 starts. But I mean, some of that's also just due to the Oilers' high-flying offense, as he's also put up .9 save percentages in almost half those games. Either way, playing well against the Kings is going to be what the Oilers need to get out of the first round of the playoffs as that matchup is looking quite likely, with just a point separating the two teams for second and third in the Pacific. LA currently does have a game in hand on Edmonton, which makes Tuesday night's game in LA a must-watch for any fans of these teams, as it could be the deciding factor for home ice advantage in the playoffs. But let us know, were you able to take in the playoff-like atmosphere of this one, and which final matchups on the schedule do you have circled? on your calendar. Let us know in the comments below.